Hello everyone, this is Josh Galvin with tizish.com. Just doing a video tutorial on this awesome website form builder called Gravity Forms. Their website is gravityforms.com, the way you see it spelled here, gravityforms.com. And this is by far the best WordPress contact form program. If you're on a WordPress blog, you need to be having this tool with your site. I'm going to show you right now how easy it is to build forms, advanced forms even, and then how easy it is to place them in your blogs using this system. And by forms, we mean contact forms, lead generation forms, the sky's the limit, whatever you're going to use a, a contact form for on your site. So I'm going to go ahead and go into a demo dashboard that I have for, uh, for these demo tutorials. And um, here's how this form system works. Okay, after you install this plugin, on your site, you're going to have a section called Forms. Um, if you're going to have no forms in it right now, but since this is a demo, I'm showing you how two forms I've already had. Let me first show you how easy it is to make a form, or how easy it is a form looks when it's created, and then how easy it is want, want to actually put a form in your blog posting. But then I'm going to take the time to make this video longer to show you how to actually do it for those that end up getting this. So here's a form that I had just made, a regular contact form I had just made. And um, let's just say you already created it and you just want to see real quick how do you put it in your post. Let me just show you that first. So look how easy this is. You go to your you go to your posting. And here in your regular WordPress posting page, when you get this plugin, you're gonna have a new box here. See when it hover when I hover over it, it says add gravity form. When you click on this, you can get this box that comes up and you're going to select the form. Let's pretend that you had just made that contact us, that contact form. Well, you select contact, put insert form. Let's just do test. And you can see what it looks like when we publish it. So I'm going to publish this post. And now that it's published, let's view this post. So you could see how the form looks. So I clicked on view post. Here it is loading up right now. And right after you see this, how easy it was to insert a form, I'm going to show you now step by step the different things you could do in making a form. Okay, so here we are on the demo site. And there you go. Look at your contact form. Just like that. Nice and easily embedded right there on your site. And you could put this with the load, loads of content above it, maybe with one of your videos that you're trying to lead capture with. The sky's the limit. And there's loads of other things we're going to be talking about in teaching. But this is basic how to. So, anyhow, that's how you insert it. Now let's go to the actual form itself. Let's say let's make a new form now from scratch and I'm going to show you guys all these fields and then give you general tips right now when creating your forms, all right? So, let's go to new form, which means we're going to create a new form. I'm going to call this one demo test for the sake of this tutorial. So, here's the first thing. Here's how you want to build your forms. This is obviously the top of the form. You see this section untitled form on the form that we had just done as a test, this section up here where it says contact and then this text right here, this is the default stuff that's always inside of any form you're going to create. See how the text is the same? So don't modify this just yet. First let's add, the, what I recommend is you add your form fields first. So let me move this camera so you can see everything completely now. Okay, so here we are in our form fields. You're going to notice on the right column you have three fields. One called standard fields, the second called advanced fields, and then you have one called post fields. I'm going to ignore post fields and I recommend you do as well. This is for advanced usage. This is if you want people to put content on your site, you're going to basically let them blog on your site and you're going to use these tools. This is very advanced usage. That I'm, not, um, I'm not going to cover this in this tutorial. I'm instead going to cover standard and advanced because these are the kind of stuff you'll use for your forms. So let's say I want to make a general, a general uh, home value form. Let's say you want to make a request a home value form. If you want to do something like that, what are the fields you're going to need? You're going to need name, email, phone number, address, and then uh, maybe a date to schedule an appointment, and then a comment box, right? Those are the kind of fields you need. So here's what you could do. And um, I'm going to show you, I'll show you at the end what all these boxes are. They're pretty self-explanatory, but nonetheless, let's just go ahead and start doing it. So the first thing we want to do is name, email, phone, the basics. So see this when you click advanced fields, we just click on name, we click on email and see how it starts populating. 
phone number, address of the property, which will change. And then we need a date that they may want to see it. See how the date went over there. And then of course a comment box. Comment box. So you see how the comment box isn't here? So let's go to standard fields. And that's under this one called paragraph text. And now we have our comment box. Now I'm going to cover these items, all these other ones shortly. But for now, let's just keep it simple. Let's stick with the concept of making a uh, request a home value form. So you see here. So now we need to start changing these items. We need to change this so it looks like how we will actually want it to look. We need to change uh, this title, and then we need to make whichever one's required. Because right now, none of these are required, which means someone could come to your form and not have to fill it out and still fill it out, in a sense. They could get away with it. You want to make certain fields required. So let's go through each box. First, let's change the name of your form. All you got to do is click on this button that says Edit. Change the name here. So let's just say Request a Home Value. And I'm just using this as the example. And description would be this is for a free home value estimation of your property obviously you want to make better text that matches what you're actually trying to do but for the sake for the sake of it you just want to just keep it simple now um, now the next item is name we want to make we want to either make different qualifications so qualifications so you see on name I could click on edit and now it opens up my name field on the name you could change it if you don't want it to say name you could make it uh, say whatever you want by changing this but under name format you can make it uh, simple instead of first and last name it'll show up just as one line or you could do extended which is gonna have like several different variations I wouldn't use that one or you, could, or you could just have normal which goes back to first name last name in my opinion I think that the simple is best for real estate leads so I would I would stick to the name one uh, just like this and then here's the important part rules make this required see how it puts a little red star that means they're gonna fill this out so I close this now and now I go to email I just wanna make this required so I click edit I click required now I go to phone I click edit I click required we go to address and we're gonna change a couple things I click on address or now now I click on edit address and here are some things. You see how this is an international type, address type? Let's change it to United States. That's what, that way you keep it simple like this. And then at this point, you can put your default state. So let's do California or whatever your default state is. And then make this, of course, required. Here's another option. See, hide address line to field. You might, you might not need this. So usually you don't. So just go ahead and click on hide address field. So see how it gets rid of that now? And now you have a clean contact form built so far. So now let's scroll down and let's do our next part, which is the date field. And we want to make this, let's not make this required actually, because maybe they don't want to set an appointment. So leave it blank. But I would do this. I would click on edit and I would put schedule a showing or anything or, you know, uh, request date report, date um date to receive report something just to keep getting them inquiring I'm just making this up just to show you how to edit this this isn't a marketing tutorial by any means so let's just say that's the case and now we go to the final box untitled and we're just gonna change this one to comments so the title we will change it to question questions and comments and let's not make that required because many times they won't have questions or comments so now we just click on save form and you're gonna get this other box that comes up I'm gonna cover email notifications shortly and then as well as these other features here but for now I'm just gonna to return to the form to show you how to embed it again so you see how easy it looks so return well let's go to continue editing this form and now though let's go to the actual posting or let's go to the edit post one let's refresh this page and I'm gonna embed this new form so you can see what it looks like Okay, so let's go ahead and delete this now. Now we're going to re-embed our new form. So we click on Add Gravity Form. We're going to select our new form. Request a home value. 
click insert form and now update and you're gonna see how the page is gonna update with the new form we had just built in 10 minutes so now let's view the post So let's scroll down now. And here's our form. You see our contact form right here, request a home value. Now it has all your stuff and it looks clean and nice and everything. So I recommend you get this contact form if this is something you're actually wanting. So um, if you have WordPress, you need a good contact form, get Gravity Forms. If you're a Tizish client, then obviously you don't have to worry about that. So let us know, contact us if you have any questions or if you have issues with using your form. Um, I'm actually going to make the advanced usage of this form a second tutorial so go ahead and check that second tutorial out if you're interested or if you're using our system alrighty if you have any questions email me to uh, current Tizish clients email me at training at tizish.com if you're not a Tizish client you just have general questions go to facebook.com forward slash Tizish and let me know your questions I'd love to hear from you or see how you're using these forms alright so that's everything take care